Hello everyone. Let's review how to send automated WhatsApp messages right from your Zoho CRM. First of all, make sure that you logged into your Timeline CI account where you have connected WhatsApp number. Then go to Zoho CRM section and make sure that you have connected Zoho. Okay, everything is correct. Now let's go to Zoho CRM. In order to create an automation, we need to go to workflow rules. Uh, press the setup section and in the automation part you'll be able to see workflow rules. You need to choose it. Now let's create a new rule. Uh, we need to select module. I will select leads module. A rule name new lead. And you can also write short description. Okay, let's proceed further. The section when works as a trigger in your workflow rule. So let's choose record action create. And it means the rule will be executed when a lead is created. Right after completing the when section, you'll start working on condition one. Within this section, you need to set up which contact you would like to apply the rule. In order to apply the rule uh, to all your contacts from WhatsApp, you need to filter them by lead source. Uh, let's choose lead source is Timelines AI. Okay, we apply a filter in order to apply this automation only to your contacts which were synchronized from your WhatsApp. Okay, after completing the conditions, um, you'll see an instant action button. When you click on it, you'll be able to select the action and let's choose webhook. And then you need to choose new webhook in order to send WhatsApp messages. Uh, we may assign a name to our webhook, which will help us to identify it for the future workflow rules. Uh, okay, send WhatsApp message leads, I will do like this. Uh, we can also um, apply a brief description about the purpose of this workflow, of this webhook, I mean, but we can also skip this part. Then as a method, you need to select pause. And here you need to paste a URL from Timelines AI. Okay, now I will show you how to get URL from Timelines AI. You need to go back to Timelines AI, open integrations, and make sure to open API documentation. Here, uh, choose send message to phone number. this one and you need to copy this URL. Let's go back to Zoho and paste our URL here. Okay, next one authorization type will be general. Okay. Now, if we scroll down a bit, uh, we will be able to see custom parameters and we need to add new parameters. Um, first one parameter name is of authorization and parameter value should be Bearer and you need to paste. Okay, one moment. Bearer 
and you need to paste the token that you copy from your timeline CA. The token should be copied from timeline CA right here. You just copy this token, go back and paste it like this. Okay. Um, we also need to press this plus symbol, then parameter name should be content type, which is application JSON. And the type should be row, and within the text box that, show up, that shows up, you will need to add a request sample. You can find the sample in your API documentation. I have already copied, copied it, so you just press it here. Okay, to the phone number field, you need to press, you need to enter your contact phone number. It should be your contact phone number. Let's choose one of the test number from our chat. Okay, let's choose this one. I will just copy this number and paste it here. Sorry, here you need to paste your connected phone number. Uh, this one, WhatsApp account phone, means phone number of your uh, customers. Then you need to enter text. If you would like, you can also add attachment, but you can just remove these tabs and leave it like this in order to send message. You can create your message here. You can uh, create also personalized messages. Uh, phone number, I will choose my connected number. I will choose my number and paste it here. Okay. Now we can save this. And also here we can press save button. And once we activate this automation, it will be automatically send WhatsApp messages to new leads, which will be created from Timelines AI, from your WhatsApp numbers.